So today guys we are taking a look at a brand new CLV weapon called the Stellaros' Burn which guys I'm going to straight up state this thing is incredible yes the first CLV weapon I'm putting out there has been an incredible weapon how's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll be doing another BR3 video if you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more so I will state spoilers lay ahead in terms of where I got this to drop now I won't show footage of the boss, but I will state his name and that info is coming in 3, 2, 1, and... So this, the boss that dropped this for me, is called Wendigo. Now I ain't saying this is his weapon drop, I ain't saying this is the only place to get this thing, but so far after playing this for 2 or 3 days already, I've seen multiple of new legendaries drop in terms of in-game world drops but I haven't seen another one of these the only one I have seen is this one and like I said it dropped from Wendigo it's early days yet though so if any one of you guys have had this drop elsewhere be sure to let us know down below in that comment section so this Stauros is burn mine isn't anointed I mean if it was oh man a long sigh was heard so what this does is chance and break to combust, basically it breaks when it overheats like all CLV weapons. Combust though guarantees critical hits, increases fire damage and lowers shot cost. Players take damage while in combust, so basically guys when you're in this kind of combust mode you catch fire. Now my variant being a 2 times variant dealing basically 900 damage per shot, but let me tell you although on paper this that wise doesn't look that great, using it in battle it's on another level. When you are in that combust mode, this thing absolutely shreds. And because you set yourself on fire with this, dealing more fire damage at the same time, pair this with an elemental projector, and the outcome is utterly crazy. And what you're seeing now, guys, is just this weapon and the elemental projector. Nothing in terms of my class mods is generating any more damage here, and nothing in reality, skill wise, from the artifact is giving me any more extra damage. And because I'm playing this on PC at the moment and I do main Xbox, I was limited in what I could indeed test with this weapon. But you could create something truly special with this in my opinion. I main Zane, a quick thought, imagine this. The Staros is burned with a central cryo damage anointment, so that's 100% additional cryo damage while sentinel is active. Incendiary or cryo damage or even both on an elemental projector artifact. Assault rifle damage on a class mod. COV crit damage on a class mod. Don't forget, when this is in that combustor mode, every shot you fire at an enemy, even if you hit his big toe, it counts as a crit shot and deals that critical damage. How crazy is that? Now out of all the legendaries I've used so far from this new Guns Love and Tentacles DLC, I can tell you this is the one I'm most surprised about. It is truly an amazing weapon. Now given many Dahl Assault Rifles have received a damage buff and have become pretty decent, the Q system is still a deadly weapon and there's a few other Assault Rifles out there which I forgot at the moment but are pretty good, this in my opinion is up there with the best Assault Rifles in this game. There is no doubt about it. It's just super unique, it hits like a truck and it's a CLV weapon wow so go and get this thing guys and tell me what you think about it i know many people are watching this with ideas of how this can add to their build or even how they can create a build around this i've got many many ideas and i cannot wait to get this on xbox on my zane main account fun times ahead but yeah guys my thoughts on the star is burn an amazing weapon definitely a keeper in my opinion but yeah guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.